Number 26. Uh, so let's see, what do we need? We need maybe this opposite leg over here. I could call it side B. I need this adjacent leg over here called side A. 25 plus uh, 65 equals 90. Uh, so let's say I do uh, opposite from the 25 would be this leg over here, right? If I just focus on the 25, this is the hypotenuse, of course. So I'm going to go the sine of 25 is equal to B over 12, multiply both sides by 12, and it comes out to be 12 times the sine of 25, right? So I uh, head over to Desmos, 12 times sine 25, 12 sine 25. 5.1 it looks like so 5.1 is my b value 5.1 okay and then my a value i'm going to do cosine of 25 and say that's a over 12 and so i uh, head back over and just change this to the cosine right cosine and i've got 10.9 so let's put a equals 10.9 all right, now I, I do want you to know that in the back of our textbook, we have these we we have these answers back there, right? We just have to get to where the answers are. So I'm going to try something here real quick in this. I'm going to go to um, add a duplicate tab, okay? And then I'm going to try to get to the back of the textbook where the answers are located. Uh, if you would try this with me, that'd be fantastic because I, I want you to know where the answers are so you can check them like this is an odd problem that we're just doing right oh shoot this is number 26 my bad this is an even problem so the odd problems are in the back of the book the even problems are not so you go over to this little navigation thing and you want to go all the way down to the bottom that'll get you the back of the book see this end matter thing back here and then selected answers and then it goes to selected answers essay page one, right? And, and then we just crank through these until we get to the correct module. We're in module four, right? Section four. Uh, boy, they really need, I don't know if this little search thing would get me to the right page or not. I'm not going to try it right now. Uh, so I'm trying to get to module four, right? Sure, it'd be nice if there was an easier way to do that. Um, thanks, McGraw-Hill. Oh, I just saw it. Four, four, uh, there's four, six. I uh, thought I saw four or five over here. There we go. And number 20, let's go to 25. See how 25 is 3.7? Let me go single page here so you can see it. Uh, it is 3.7, 5.9, and 58 degrees. Let's go back over here and check our number 25, see if we have the same answers. 3.7, 5.9, 58. Was, it, was that what we were saying? Uh, 3.7, 5.9, 58. That's exactly what we got, right? So we're going to check that on number 27 here in just a second. We're going to see if we can get these answers. And um, unfortunately, don't put the even ones back there, but this is the right answer for the even ones. Number 27. Oh, my gosh. We have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. I wouldn't do any of this stuff over here. I'd say, okay, this is 18 over here. This is 18 square root of 2 right there. Now, if they want me to round, uh, then I've got to do 18 square root of 2 on the calculator, right? Let's see how they put it back here. 27. Oh, uh, look at they rounded 25.5. So... You know, they don't have this. They have 25.5 and, uh, oh, shoot. I, I wish they would have had 18 square root of 2 because then I don't have to do any of this stuff. You know, I don't have to go 18 SQRT2 to get the 25.5, right? Oh, man, I hope I'm making this clear for you. Uh, thanks for watching this third video and checking your homework. Um, I'm going to have another video for... Uh, the last two proms, 31 and 34. Good luck, everybody.